Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I take you through the steps of unlocking another specialist character in Blackout. This time, we focus on Ruin. As we get started here, like many of the specialists in Blackout, in order to unlock Ruin, you first have to obtain an item from the map. In Ruin's case, they're called Punching Mitts, and these mitts can be found at three different locations, either on top of a crane and construction site, on a ring at the top of the lighthouse, or on the roof of the asylum. Unfortunately, the spawn of this item is completely random, so you never know exactly where they're going to be before you jump. My suggestion would be to drop at the same place a few games in a row, and eventually in one of those games, you'll come across them. Before we get into the process of actually obtaining Ruin, I just want to show you in real time where each of the three drops are at. Yes, I pointed to them, but I know that finding them can be a little bit difficult. So here we're flying into the lighthouse. I'm going to land at the very top, but the gloves are actually found at the ring right beneath the top. So I'm going to drop down here, and this is the ring where they'll usually be. Just run around. I've seen them on both sides, um, but if you do get them, great. If you don't, you can just jump off. You deploy your parachute, and from there you can go on with the rest of the the process. The next place I'm going to show you is by far the hardest place to get to. I think landing lighthouse or asylum are a little bit easier than construction site, but if you go to construction site, this is where you'll find them. This red crane that's at the very top, they'll be up here. Um, specifically, I've seen them a lot right at the very top there where the, the chopper is right next to. So again, it's a hard place to land, but if you prefer to go there, you can go there. I like the other two places. It's just a little bit easier. So there's the second place. The final place here, this is the game where I actually unlocked Ruin. So I'm flying into the front of Asylum. They're always going to be on the same peak. Right when I get a little bit closer, right around here, you can actually see them on screen. Uh, interesting note, this is actually the game where I unlocked Ruin. So the Seraph there, that person actually grabbed them before I could. So um, the only reason why I dropped in this game was to get the punching mitts. So I'm not going to go down without a fight. This person hops in the truck and I hop in the truck with him. And I actually stay with him until he decides to get out. If we fast forward just a few seconds, this person actually hops out of the truck and lets it go into the water. Um, but again, I'm getting those gloves. So I ended up chasing him. I looked at my mini map and I saw that the closest buildings were to the right. So I just kind of figured that's where he was heading. Um, so as I'm watching here, he goes up to the second floor and he finds an ICR, I believe. So I noticed that he didn't check the first floor. So I hop in this window and I get a shotgun right away. I load it, I turn around and I get a nice little headshot there. So I open up his inventory and there are the punching mitts. All right, so now that I have the punching mitts in hand, if you bring up your inventory, you'll see on the right-hand side, it says punching mitts, and it tells you the character missions that you have to do and able to unlock Ruin. So first thing, you have to kill an enemy in close quarter combat. So that's the thing we have to take care of first, and it's not exactly the easiest. You have to be pretty close to that person and able to unlock that. And the second thing you have to do is just finish the match with them in your inventory. So that's pretty simple. Once you get them, don't let go of them. It doesn't matter if you win or if you place 30th. Whatever you do, don't let go of them. So I have the gloves. Basically, only thing I have to do to unlock Ruin is to get a kill in close quarters combat. My suggestion for you would be to use your equipment. So find a nine bang or a concussion or a stun or something along those lines. And when you get close to somebody, throw it run up on them. It doesn't matter if you have a shotgun or an AR or an SMG. In this video, I use a shotgun, but my advice, again, use your equipment. It makes this much easier. If you finally get your gloves, and then you just try to run up on somebody and be sneaky and they catch you and you end up dying, you're going to feel pretty terrible about that. As we get back into the gameplay here, you just saw that guy drive by me on the ATV, so that's the guy I'm going to go after. If you're listening, you just saw the ATV stop, so I know he's up here somewhere. So I start cooking my concussion, I see him and I throw it, and then I run around, I shotgun him in the face, and that's how I ended up getting my kill. So now that I have my close quarter combat kill, the only thing I have to do essentially is just finish the game. So just to fast forward here for a second, the end of this game, I end up getting this kill. So this guy runs behind the truck. I go and I chase him with my shotgun. I get this kill and uh, I was a little bit too careless here. I laid down. I kind of took a while while I was looting this guy's body. And as you'll find out here in a second, I get sniped in the face. So that's how my game ended. But remember, all I had to do was get a close quarters kill and finish the game with the mitts in my lobby. So um, I never let them down. So I finished 23rd overall. I don't want to cut this scene here. I just kind of want you to see how it happens, what it looks like as you unlock Ruin. So I exited the lobby. The post game lobby is loading right now. 
So if we give it just another second here, I apologize, there's a couple seconds here. I ended up with five kills, placed 23rd overall, and then the next screen shows you that I unlocked Ruin. That'll do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new around here, please like and subscribe. I now have two of the specialist videos up on my channel, and I'll continue to do the rest of them. So if you want to catch those, make sure you like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and I'll catch you next time. Have a good day.